Hey guys, it's Dom from mobiledom.co.uk and today I finally have the review of the BlackBerry Curve 8520. Let's get to it. Alright guys, I'm going to start off with apologising. Um, I did the unboxing for the Curve months ago and actually it was my brother-in-law's uh, Curve and in that time I had... Well at the time of the shooting I had this and when this died that progressed onto this and eventually they that one died as well which resulted in me getting my own curve and um yeah um i shot the review of his, of his curve about 2 weeks after i did the unboxing and it was pretty cool actually i i didn't realize how much i'd like the full keyboard compared to the sure type quality on the um What's it called? The Pearl. But no, I, I liked it a lot more than I thought I did. So, but me being the stupid person I am, uh, never got around to editing it. It was on my laptop. Uh, I ran like a cleaner and obviously it's still the file hadn't been looked at or even touched in ages. So I said, now nah, get rid of it. You won't miss it. When I did. So I put it, should have put it on my external hard drive, really. But uh, yeah, so... I'm back and I'm going to try and do this as soon as possible, so let's get to it. Uh, I should preface this by saying this is the Curve 8520, so this is the non-3G version, the 3G version is the 9300, um, but the uh, GSM bands that this takes is 850, 900, 1800, and 1900, so if I'm not mistaken, 850 and 1800 are the 2G bands used by AT&T in the States. Uh, if any of you of, of my um, subscribers are from the States, you can comment on that. Um, uh, while the screen is off, I'm going to do the dimensions. It's 109mm from top to bottom. It's 60mm exactly from left to right. And it is just under 14mm th uh, at 13.9mm uh, deep. It weighs 106 grams, so it's, it's very light for a phone like this. Um, it's just a bit lighter than the uh, Galaxy S, the original, which is, I believe, 109 grams, which is stupid for a phone with a 4-inch screen. But um, I'll take you on a hardware tour. All right, on the left side of the device, you have uh, a shortcut, or like convenience key, as they call it, which is under this like uh, rubber strip, which is nice. It's got nice, uh, good tactile feedback. You have your micro USB uh, 2.0 uh, charger and data transfer port. You have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is a bit strange seeing on the side. It always gets snagged when it's in my pocket. I really wish uh, rim would either put on the top of the top or the bottom. If I knew on top and bottom, it'd help. Uh, on the top, we have three media keys. We have the um, sorry if you go this way, the backer track, <laughs> backer track. Uh, the middle is the play, pause, and mute key. And the right key is the go forward and fast forward key. On the right side of the device, we have uh, two lumps, which are the volume keys. Uh, it's not a rocker, they are two separate keys under this rubber strip. A bit further down, we have the second convenience key, which is usually uh, mapped to um, camera. Here we have what I believe to be a microphone, though I could be wrong if we take... Nope, I was wrong. This here is uh, for the lanyard port, which goes through there. So, it's alright, it's pretty. <clears throat> uh, if you go to the back, here is the uh, back plate. When I first saw the uh, curve ages and ages and ages ago, before I even had one, um, when my, first, first, my friends were first getting them, I thought this was metal, and it's not, it's plastic, which is a bit sad, but hey, what are you going to do? The phone costs like £130 on pay as you go, so, oh well. Uh, the phone ships uh, with a 2GB micro SD card, um, put, put that back in there. On the back, you have a 2 megapixel fixed focus camera, 
um, capable of taking photos at um, 1600 by 1200 pixel resolution. So yeah, 2 megapixels. It does support video capture, but it's very basic at QVGA resolution, so it's one of those things you'll shoot it, show it to your friends, maybe put it on like, YouTube, but you'll most likely just delete it because it's going to be terrible. Um, the battery here is an 1150 mAh battery, which seems a bit small, but um, I can easily get it through a day, day and a half, uh, a day with um, moderate use. Um, day and a half, I'm being a bit scringy on like away at my friends who haven't got a charger or, or for some reason um, but it's quoted as being 408 hours of standby time or four and a half hours of talk time and obviously that's on 2G um, if I take the battery out uh, this is where your SIM card goes and there is the uh, indicator from whether or not it's been water damaged and we're back uh, now it's booted up. You can see this is the standard um, OS5 uh, interface for BlackBerry. So you've got the uh, six bar dock at the bottom which is customizable. So you can put whatever you like down there. Um, up top you've got your profiles. So you scroll up in there and click on that. And that's the only thing. It's not like on OS6 or OS7 you can tap the time and get your connections menu. You can tap the notifications and your notifications come down. Obviously, you're not, this is not a touch screen. But um, the only thing on the top is your profiles. Um, pressing the menu button will uh, bring you into the menu. And uh, Orange, where this device was purchased from the UK, does not bundle any bloatware whatsoever. Uh, there is one app which Orange put on here, which is obviously quite essential. Um, it's down here, it's called Orange Plus. It lets you just get stuff about your phone, so information, call Orange or Page You Go. So if you click like Page You Go, and then like, if you click, you can it will send you a text, uh, your balance. Um, if you click Top Up, it will give you a, a screen so you can type the like 12 digit Top Up card in. And it gives you an option to link a swipe card to your account. So that's pretty cool. I mean, pre-installed applications on the device are SMS and S SMS and MMS, um, BlackBerry Pin, which is BlackBerry Messenger, the terrible RIM web browser. Uh, I've got Facebook 2.0, Twitter like 2.1. Um, sorry, that was my tweet deck in the background. Um, uh, there's the clock and alarm clock. So that's my pre. Let me put that on mute. Uh, I've got Tumblr, which is something I downloaded. Gmail downloaded. The beta version of App World 3.0, which I'll uh, show in a minute. Uh, Dropbox. You've got the messages, which is like the universal inbox for everything. So your texts, your MMSs, your emails, your Facebook messages, your Twitter messages, your Tumblr messages, everything gets put into there. Uh, next, oh, one thing that did come pre-installed was Windows Live Messenger. Uh, here is a next, sorry, next is the downloads folder. So you can see some of the apps I downloaded that I never actually bothered taking out. Um, pardon me. Next you've got your uh, media folder, which when you're not in uh, uh, the folder, you can just press the uh, middle key at the top and it will take you straight to the media menu. If you go back, uh, next across is the camera application, your calendar, your contacts, help, applications, which is, you saw that, which is all the pre-installed applications that I wanted to hide. Um, got games, see these are all pre-installed apart from Copter. Uh, your profiles, your setup folder, your search, Power, options, and your manage connections. Um, pretty cool, very standard. Uh, I had a couple of themes loaded onto here, but I decided to get rid of them. They just weren't doing much to me, and other than was slowing down my device. 